how many grad schools should you apply to? If you're applying to grad schools for math or maybe some other field, how many should you apply to? Well, it really depends on how many you have time to apply to. The thing is, if you're applying to PhD programs, you're probably in school right now. So you're probably taking classes right now. That means you're probably really busy. Plus, you're probably studying for the GREs and you're, you're freaking out about that. It's like, oh my God. So it's a lot to handle. I remember when I was applying to graduate school, uh, I was looking at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor and I really wanted to go there. I thought, wow, it's in Ann Arbor, it's a nice town, the cost of living isn't outrageous, I might be able to have like my own apartment there, and it's pretty, and it snows. I was so excited, I really wanted to apply to that school. They had a class on functions of several complex variables. I was so excited, I really wanted to go there. They had such a really big department, and I didn't apply. You might say, well, why? Why didn't you apply? It's because they required a letter of recommendation that had to be written a certain way. Like there was something in the letter that required me to write an additional letter. And I just didn't have the time. You know, I was so focused on my classes and my GREs and my other applications that I could not afford to write a separate letter for each school. I just felt completely overwhelmed. In hindsight, I look back and think, well, pff, what am I, an idiot? It was just one letter. But that's how busy you are. That's how busy we are when we're math students and we're applying to graduate schools. There, there's a lot going on, right? I mean, you have the prospect of moving all the way across the country, or, or if you're in another country and you're coming to the US, you know, all the way across the world to some foreign place. I mean, it's a big deal. So that really restricts, I think, how many you can apply to. So it's all about how many you can afford to apply to. Now by afford, I mean time. There is also the consideration of money. Some people say, oh, it's too expensive to apply. It is the best investment you will ever make in your life. It is worth it. I mean, I kind of emphasize how well the money is spent. Even if you don't get in, it's worth it. I think I applied to 17 schools. I'm pretty sure it was 17. And some of them were free, and most of the admissions costs were pretty low. I think, I don't think I even spent $50 on any of the uh, applications. Most were 10 or 20 at the time. Maybe it's gone up uh, since then. But it usually isn't uh, that much, and sometimes uh, it is uh, free. It's worth it, though. If it's 40 bucks, it's 40 bucks, and, and it's worth it. You know, just if you don't have the money, get a credit card. It's worth it. It's your life. This is the one time. You can do this, you need, you need to take advantage of it. So how many should you apply to if you have the time and you have the money? Well, as many as you can. Again, it really depends on time. I think a good number, this is just my, my view here, is maybe like three or four good schools and then like five or six okay schools and then a couple safety schools. You know, that, that put me at 17. Honestly, after doing tons of research, uh, I actually applied to all the ones I wanted to apply to, besides Michigan. I think Michigan was, was the only school that I wanted to apply to that I didn't. That's why I remember that story about Michigan. I didn't want to apply to Harvard. You know, I, I didn't think I could survive their qualifying exams. I didn't want to go to schools in California because I wanted to be able to live on my own. And I think at the time, at least the schools I looked at there, I wasn't able to live on my own. I mean, California has awesome schools. And in hindsight, maybe I should have gone there, but I, I'm very happy with with the choice I made. So apply to as many as you want and make sure to narrow down your list. And believe me, when you start doing research, your list is going to narrow. You're gonna start looking at schools and you're gonna say, oh, I don't wanna live there or, or I don't like that. Like for example, Georgia Tech is off a highway. I did not wanna drive on a highway to get to college, so I didn't apply. So little things like that, be picky. Remember, you're gonna be in graduate school for at least the next four years of your life. So it's really, really important that you make the best possible choice. Good luck.